purpose of this video is to give you just a quick overview on how to make some simple settings changes to your site and how to configure it once you've uh, first created it. So this site that I've created here, uh, I've called it Team Site, as you can see here, and it basically is, is a, this is exactly what you'll see if you create your site. This is out of the box, unconfigured and uncustomized uh, at the moment. So if I want to make any changes or to the settings on my site, I would click on the settings button here in the top right, and then I would click site settings, and I'll have a full range of options that I can click here, uh, some of which are quite advanced and we'll get to in later videos, but for now we'll focus on this look and feel section right here. So the title description and logo option will click, and we can change the title of our site, so I'll call it my new team site, and enter a description for the site. This is very good for search results as well, so that if people are searching and they come across your site, they can have an idea of what your site is about. Additionally, we can set a logo. This logo appears in the top left of your site at all times. If you don't configure it, you'll just have the standard SharePoint logo. You can either upload an image from your computer, so browse the files and choose an image from there, or if you already have an existing image, or here you have your logo already in SharePoint, you can browse within SharePoint, so my image is here in Site Assets. You can choose the image that you want to use. It will show you a preview here. And you can also enter alternative text for your image, so that is important for accessibility as well. The final thing that you can do is you can change the URL of your site so if I did not want to have team site as the actual address, uh, I could change that to something else if I if I really wanted to. So I'll press OK and save this. And you'll see that my logo here has updated. And if I go to my home page, you'll see that this is now my new team site is now the title for the site. Uh, go back to site settings here. Now the next three sections, the quick launch, the top link bar, and the tree view, these are all navigation related options here. Uh, we'll get to navigation in another video, but suffice to say that the navigation functions which are here at the top or on the left hand side can be configured using these three links. The final section in look and feel uh, allows you to change the look of the site. So if you click on this, it will take you to a gallery which has a number of different themes that come out of the box in SharePoint. You can add your own themes if you like, um, but this basically just allows you at the click of a button to change the theme of your site. So I'll choose this one right here. It gives you a quick preview of what your site is going to look like. Um, you can change the layout of the site. We'll get into the layouts at another stage. You can change the basic theme colors of the site if you want. There are some out of the box ones here. I'll just leave it as it is. And it will continue, that, that preview will change dynamically as you change those, uh, those colors. You can change the background image. Uh, if you want a different background image, you can click change or you can rem remove the background image completely. And once you're happy with the preview, you click on try it out. It will load for a little bit, and then once it's done, it'll give you another preview, just to double check that you're happy. And if we're happy with it, we will press yes. And we'll see that now, it may not be visually the most striking theme you've ever seen, but you'll see that the look and feel of the page and of the site has been updated quite easily and quite quickly.